Charles Kofi Odubuahine was appointed Deputy Minister of Finance by President Okufado in 2017. He was to assist Ken Ofoyata and other Deputy Ministers at the Finance Ministry to turn the country's fortune around. In 2021, he was appointed Minister of State at the Finance Ministry. His job was to deal with the day-to-day -day running of the Ministry following the long absence of Ken Ofoyata on health grounds. A few weeks ago, some majority MPP MPs demanded the resignation of Charles Edubwahine and Ken Ufuriata from the ministry. On Monday, a publication in the Crusading Guide newspaper implicated the minister of attempting to take $200,000 in the name of the vice president from an investor. In a documentary by investigative journalist Anas Arimia Anas, Charles Edubwahine is seen to have told the undercover journalist and investigators. The Vice President, Dr. Muhammad Obamia, needs just $200,000 token as appearance fee before meeting with supposed investors. The Minister is also reported to have said that the Vice President will demand some contract from an investor for his siblings to get his backing and influence in establishing a business in Ghana. City News understands that a said documentary and recording was done in February 2018. Few hours after the president was briefed about the development, Charles Edubuani was invited to the Jubilee House for questioning. In a statement from the presidency and signed by the director of communication, UGI says the president was unhappy with the development and subsequently terminated the appointment of Charles Edubuani. The statement reads, and I quote, after being made aware of the allegations leveled against the minister in the expose, Galamse economy, the president spoke to Mr. Charles Edubwahine, after which he took the decision to terminate his appointment and also referred the matter to the special prosecutor for further investigations. The president thanked Mr. Edubwahine for his strong service to his government since his appointment in 2017 and wished him well in his future endeavors. Minutes after Mr. Edubahini's appointment was terminated, the Vice President, Dr. Muhammad Obamia, issued a statement condemning the actions of the minister. The statement says, and I quote, My attention has been drawn to a video by Anas Arimi Anas as posted on his social media handle showing the Minister of State at the Finance Ministry, Mr. Charles Edubahini, apparently using my name in Ta'ala to peddle falsehood and collect money from supposed investors. I'd like to state that if what the minister is alleged to have said in the video is accurate and as captured, then his position as a minister of state is untenable. He should be dismissed immediately and investigated. I am not aware of any such meetings held by a minister Edubuahini or a supposed appearance fee. My most cherished asset in life is my integrity and I will not allow anyone to use my name to engage in corrupt activities. The man in the center of all this, Charles Edubuahini, has also broken his silence on the matter. In a statement on his Facebook page, Charles Edubuahini said, and I quote, It has come to my attention that a documentary to be aired by Tiger IPI and an article published in the Crusading Guide newspaper on Monday seeks to accuse me of broken deals for the Vice President of the Republic. This follows an attempt to entrap myself and other persons in 2018. Subsequently, I have not been involved in this act of which I am being accused. I do not, however, wish to be a distraction to the government and the Ministry of Finance at this crucial moment. Consequently, I have submitted my resignation to the President of the Republic. I will, however, look forward to a full investigation which will reveal that I have not committed this act.